Hello, welcome to this second video. So here, I, if you download the case, in my, in my case, I already have everything here. And if you open the world workbench case, we have this case set up. Okay, so here I just wanted to show you that you can go and use the analysis system, something like that. So you can just pick up here, flip, flip flow, fluent, and put it here, and then you you feel you feel all these boxes okay so here you have all this setup in this case you have geometry mesh and everything or you can drag each box here in the component system at a time i prefer to work like this it's up to you but i prefer to work like this because when i work like this i just see interesting geometry mesh export exporting the mesh and then i use standalone fluent i get out of this uh work workbench environment okay it's up to you you get the same results for the purposes of this video i'm going to show you this workflow but remember it's exactly the same okay so let's work okay so let me here save this one as a new one i will put here let me call it test one okay so i'm going to do here and see that remember I'm going just to get geometry, put it here, and let's do the geometry using first design modeler and then using the space screen. So you have also the case presentation, you have the dimension. So this is what we're going to do in 2D and then we're going to do the same stuff in 3D. Okay, I'm going to show you. So it's straightforward, it's very simple. So go here, right click, new design modeler okay so it shows the design model see that here i enabled property so i can see where the files are going the names and everything okay so that you can enable that here you have all the tabs okay so it's not important so a new design modeler and it will launch design modeler as i mentioned design modeler is a fully parametric cat software it's very robust this is what we want a fully parametric cat but it's not a state of the art okay so, so you compare with solid wars on shape uh pro e stuff like that or katia it's not at the same level but it works okay so remember that we have a geometry okay we want to do this one and i in 2d you sort of recommend you just to work in this plane x y and also it's a good advice just to put in one of the extreme put this zero okay that is an advice it's up to you you are the one working so i'm going to sketch here x y so remember that we need in 2d we need to create a surface and we need to add okay a sketch so choose here x y see here that you have new sketch and then to enter into sketching you enter here okay and now you have all the options okay so here in, modif in dimensions is you want to sorry in settings is you want to enable the grid you can enable this okay you can snap to the grid it's up to you you can change the dimensions okay it's up to you uh also probably i didn't mention so you go here in file and should be settings create okay tools the dimensions okay you can set that outside okay i don't have the options here but uh you can also choose the, the units okay so by default is in the metric system in meters okay so let, let, let's design here the geometry so you're going to draw so remember i'm going to show you a way there are many ways to do this it's up to you so i'm going to design this block here then this arc here to descend this arc i need to create a construction line or a reference line okay the center go here then design this box then do the boolean between or erase the with the set here and so on the same here okay so remember that you need to put the precise dimensions so you put a box and then you start to to add dimensions so see that what i'm going to do rectangle put it here okay and i put dimensions there so now i can add my dimensions i will go here general select this one and h1 okay so let me put there that dimension okay so you can fit to screen here and you can do the same here okay so this one will be also south okay uh by the way uh let me go here so thousand one thousand two thousand so dimensions are are, are are in millimeters okay so 
I have it here and see that here it is in meters. Okay. It doesn't matter. Then we can scale everything. Okay. Just to show you. Okay. But in any case, you can change dimensions here as you want. Here you have the unit. So let, let, let's go and doing it in, in that way. Okay. So here also I'm asking to do some scaling date later. So let's erase new plane Unix and what I want to work in millimeters. Okay. So let me put the box there and then here the p means that is center there i draw that let me add dimensions here so this one will be 2000 millimeters 1000 millimeters here fit to to screen and see that you have the that that first block there okay so now we need to add a reference point from here at 1000 then to draw those arcs. So to add that reference point, for instance, you can go here and let's see, draw. Okay, for instance, I can draw a line. There is no problem, I will put it like this. And see the V that appears, you move it and see that V means that it's a vertical line. You press and you have it there. And now you add dimensions to that line. Okay, so this, uh, Fine, let me put it like this, will be uh, 1000 millimeters, okay? And now let me add a key draw here and let me go circle. So the circle is center here, passing here, center here, passing here. So see that what I'm doing is this, 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 and now I would create another box here, but then also I need to trim this circle using a horizontal line. Okay, so see that I will create another line here. Remember, there are many ways to do this. I'm showing you one way, okay? So see the edge means horizontal, you move it, and now you see here that the C means that it's coincident with that circle, and see that you have the line. So now you can trim this. So to trim, you go into modify, and see that you have many options. So I want to trim. See that if I choose this. See that it's trim in there. I want to trim this. Okay, I did it wrong, by the way. So sorry, I just wanted to show you. I, I didn't need to trim this horizontal line here. So see that, let me put it here again. Okay, and it's another way to is it also works, so see that you have it there. And now go modify, trim, 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 trim. I don't need that. So I hope you're getting the point where, where I'm going with this. And now I can do draw another line here. Oops, let's control Z, uh, ta -ta -ta. put it V vertical, okay. Now see that I go from this one. See that if I hover over this point, you are waking up that point and see that now, okay, I didn't wake up that inference. Okay, I don't have it here. Horizontal and now you go here and you want it vertical. Okay, I don't want to intersect because now you, you can trim lines. Okay, so you can go again like this, trim. See that now you need to zoom here and trim. Okay, you put that box there, you can trim this, you can erase this, you don't need it, and this one as well. Okay, so now we can add dimensions. Okay, so let me add dimension uh, horizontal between this and this. Okay, so that one, okay, we have it is force and it's nothing to do, and now vertical between this and this. Oops, okay, should be so. Let me erase this. Okay. Okay, so let me add here this one. B8 will be 2000. And you have it there. Okay, so fully parametric. So you have all dimensions 1000, ta ta, ta ta. We're okay. So this point, look at that, what we have is this. Now we need to add this. Okay, again, let's do and let me do something like this. Uh, okay, first let me add a line 
but I want to add better to it. Let me add a construction. Let me see. Okay, then let me add the line here. Okay, vertical line like this. And see that in here, I'm telling you that this will this line that I just drew represents the center of this pie here. So I have the distance here. So let me add dimensions horizontal from this point to this. Okay, control Z. Okay, select a one horizontal between this and this point. Control. Okay, you, you need to press control to select multiple. And that dimension will be 1375. 1375. Okay, so see that it's moving. Okay, and now I can do. Let me do a rectangle like this. I put it like this. And again, you've just remember I'm choosing this path to do it. Probably it's not the best way to do it, but it works in this case. H1, the horizontal one is 125. 125 and now I know that the distance between this and this should be 250 you have it there okay so see that I put it there and now I have this reference also from the bottom here to this one 225 so let me go here vertical between this and this point so Press control to select multiple. And that one is V13 that you have it here to 250. Okay, and voila, you have it. And now what you need to do as we did previously, uh, modify and you can trim away whatever you need. So see that I don't need this, this, this goes away. I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this. And here you see trim. Trin, 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 trin. And see that we have our nice pipe here. Okay. So at this point, what we can do, go back to model here. Okay. And go concept, create surface from sketches. Select this sketch, apply. Remember, I told you I recommend you to put there a frozen, generate, and voila, you have your sketch here. So now as you go back to your sketch and you change one of these dimensions, everything will be updated automatically. Uh, probably this thing here, I don't recommend you. I erase here, remember that I have the center of the pipe. I erase that one, probably it's better to, to leave it there, okay, because you are measuring you know, the, the, the distance there. So probably better just to leave it and put it as a construction line, okay? So at this point, we're done. You have one surface. Remember that this step is optional. You can put here fluid. You can give it a name there. So you sort of like to call it domain. Whoops. Domain. Okay, you have it there. And what else we can do? Okay, just to mention also that remember that in the previous tutorial we assigned the name selections in the at uh, the mesh and time. You can do that also when you are generating the geometry. So to do that is pretty much the same. You can select a line. See here that you select there, right click and see here name selection. Give it a name. I will let then here also select here given a name. Uh, 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 okay. Let me say here, create, okay, 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 okay. Uh, generate. So you need to give it a name, uh, create name and selection. So I'll give it a name. I will call it inlet to generate, select here and call it in that one. Okay, so you can generate. And if you don't give the name to the other edges, doesn't matter. Fluent will put them in an automatic group 
okay and with the same wall but it's one you can select the rest uh as i mentioned i don't like to do it here sometimes when transferring this information you have problems when you go to the machine tool okay it's up to you okay you can just try let's see what happens okay so this is all we have our case remember always here you need one part is the one you select this one and our next step will be uh, okay, we are going to do again this geometry with using a space coins and then we move and we generate a mesh. Okay, so that's all for this uh, geometry using the same model. See you in the next video. Okay, just yes, before ending, remember you close here and every now and then save. Okay, that's all. Thank you. See you next video. Bye.